What's up, tennis players? Coach Jeff here. If it's not your first time here and you're enjoying the comment, please remember the best way to support this channel is to interact, comment, like, share, and definitely subscribe if you're getting any value. If it is your first time here and you end up liking the video, please like the video. Today we're going to go over part two of kind of a double series I'm doing, which we're going over the core of how to play doubles. Today's about how to play keep away, how to play keep away from the net man. And if you're wondering why you'd want to keep the ball away from the net man, then maybe you haven't watched part one. I'm going to link down in the, in the description. It's why you want to be at the net when you play doubles. And we go over all the positive reasons of being at the net and why you're more dangerous up there. Now, also keep in mind, whenever I do a tactical video, I would consider it an advanced tip. So always be ready to go back and look at your fundamentals. So often, when I get out on the court and I help people play tennis, I almost always have to go back to some core fundamental. So another uh, video I'm going to put in, in the description is just the most important tip I have on ground strokes. So if you can't implement any of these tactics, you're going to want to take a step back and look at your fundamentals. So on the note of that first video where we know you, the best way to play doubles is to get both players up, we also know that that's not always feasible. It's not always feasible to serve and volley or ret return and come in. Maybe you don't want to do that. So we have to acknowledge this one up, one back scenario or where maybe you and your partner are both back and they have one up and one back, why you want to keep the ball away from that net man. So and we could start with return to serve. When you're returning serve, it's so important that as a core fundamental, as a core tactic, is can you get your return to serve back cross court? Yeah, later videos, strategically, you could throw a lob, you could shoot up the line in certain situations, but what you need to master first is can you execute a return to serve back cross court? Now this isn't as easy as it sounds because when you try to go back cross court, your target becomes smaller. You got to assume they're going to be able to poach to here. So when you hit your return to serve, you really got to get here. And anytime your target gets more smaller, things get more difficult. So you got to practice this. This has to be one of your core double practice routines. Hey partner, hit me serves. You could set up a cone here, or set up something around the middle of this and make sure you're getting your return you know, not low, but not too low, but back cross court away from the net man. And again, later videos, we'll go over other things, but tactically, you got to be able to get that return to serve back cross court. Okay, so now you're in your scenario, you've gotten your return back cross court, they didn't serve in volley, you didn't return and come in. Um, again, you want to learn how to serve in volley, you want to learn how to return and come in, but we know this is just the way doubles is played a lot of times, so we have to face facts. So you have one up, one back, and it's very simple. They're trying to keep away from your net player, you're trying to keep away from their net player. And all you have to do is make that target smaller. But one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is how to get that direction. A lot of people I hear sometimes say, come on the outside of the ball to get it cross court. I don't like that. I have my two topspin pros here. By the way, if you want a topspin pro, link's in the description. Um, it's an affiliate link, but it supports the channel. But um, it's good to demonstrate. If I'm going down the line, I'm here. If I want to go cross court, you don't want to think about changing your swing to go cross court. All it is is a slight adjustment of your body more behind the ball, and then it's still the same swing. It's still a straight line shot. So don't change your swing, change your body adjustment. Just let your body fall a little bit more in front of it, and it still won't hit a straight line shot. But yeah, you're in your you're in your one up, one back phase, and you just gotta practice getting that ball enough cross court to where these net players can't poach it. And you gotta assume if you're playing against good doubles players, anything over the middle, they're gonna poach. So you gotta get it cross court enough to keep away from those net players. Now, if you're playing doubles correctly and you're in these one up, one back scenarios, you're still looking to get to the net. Okay, you're just waiting for your first opportunity, your first short ball to come in. So let's say you got it. Now you and your partner have moved up to the net where you wanna be. This is a great position to be in to win doubles points, okay? They're at one up, one back. Now, even though you might have heard this is the situation where you're gonna go at the net player, there's still a scenario here where you wanna keep, play keep away from the net man and you wanna go back to the baseline player. It's when any, anytime you didn't close good enough or maybe you just they just hit a really good low ball, any volley below the level of the net, you just wanna take that back deep to the net player. You're kinda of just uh, neutralizing them back there because again, if you go to the net player, you're gonna to have to hit up and then they're gonna be able to hit down on you.
So don't be worried about if you get a volley, it's okay to just hit it back to your opponent. Yeah, I know, hit back to my opponent. But you can do that, just take it back deep. Again, hopefully you have strong volley fundamentals, you know how to stick a, a low volley back deep with some pace, and that's gonna neutralize them. And then you're just waiting for, yeah, that strategy where you do get your higher volley, then you can go at this net player and try to end the point. Okay, so just to review um, how to play keep away. If you're returning serve, you gotta get that return cross court enough away to where if you're playing a good doubles player, they know anything over the middle, they can poach, it's still gonna get away from them. Now that's a smaller target, you gotta practice that. Practice your return to serve a ton. This tactical return to serve, which is back cross court. And then if you're in a stuck in a one up, one back situation, which you shouldn't be for long, remember we should learn to serve and volley, we should learn to return and come in. And if not at the very least, we should take advantage of the first short ball first short ball we get to come in. But if you don't have that yet, it's all about keeping that ball away from these net players, okay? And then eventually, hopefully you do get two up against maybe one up, one back. If you get a lower volley you can't be aggressive on, just take that ball back here to the baseliner, neutralize them, they're in all the trouble. You have a great position here to end the point. Now again, what we're talking about now, this is tactics. Make sure you subscribe later, we'll go over strategies. Sure, there's situations where you're gonna hit to a net player, usually when they're mismatched, or we'll show you how to spot really bad volley fundamentals. So I'm not saying there's not that situation, but you need to master tactics first. Can you keep the ball away from the net person? Do you know when and how to keep the ball away from the net person? So that's it for the second video of our series, Doubles Tactics and Strategy. Make sure you take a look down below in the description, watch part one, why you wanna be at the net. And remember, also watch our tennis tip on how to hit ground stroke solid. You gotta have a good understanding of strokes in order to implement these, these ground stroke tactics that we're talking about. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found value out of it, please consider supporting this channel by interacting. Subscribe, comment, share. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I hope you found value. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.